Good morning here, it's Jeremy, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create Instagram highlights. I don't know if you've seen, if you're on Instagram and you're running your business or if you're a designer, you, then a lot of people are creating you know, content for Instagram and Instagram has this cool feature where you can actually create highlights and they have these little icons at the top of your profile. So I'm gonna show you how I've created mine and you can see here, I've got some really simple ones that I use for different parts of my design business. And I'm just gonna show you how to create that for yourself and I'm just gonna create a new document. So first up, you wanna go to File and click New. And the main size that you wanna do is 1920 by 1080. So if you click on Web, you'll see that um, there's an option to do Web Large. So if you click that, and then you wanna make sure the orientation is not um, horizontal, but vertical, because you know obviously a phone is in a vertical format. And then you can name it, you can call it Instagram, or Insta Highlights, and we'll just press OK. So the good thing why we selected that it's um, web is because it's RGB, because um, it's obviously on screens. So I'm just gonna go through here. I'm gonna go to my libraries, my color libraries. I'm just gonna go to Color Clean 2016, and there's plenty of you know interesting colors here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a color, pick this cool yellow color. I'm gonna right click and click Add Color to Swatches. And the key with these highlights is you wanna make them really simple and you wanna make the icon um, very simple as well. So I'm going to just get a color, press M for the rectangle tool and just draw a box. I'm gonna select the box and just make it yellow. I'm gonna get rid of my stroke. So if there's a black stroke, I'm just gonna click and click on the red stroke there. So now we've got our background. So what we wanna do, we wanna make sure that our icon is in the center of the actual um, artboard because the highlight or Instagram is not going to take the full thing. It's only going to get like that one little section. So what I'm going to do, start to create an icon. So I'm going to create something simple. So for, for instance, maybe you have free downloads on your website. I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to press Shift X to flip it. And then I'm going to go to my stroke. And I'll make it about... We'll go five points. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create an arrow. So I'll press M for the rectangle tool. I'll just drag a box. I'll right click, create a, click on the star. I'll hold shift. And then I'm gonna rotate it like this. I'm gonna drag it. And you can see my it's snapping to the point because my smart guides are on. So if I go to view, you can see my smart guides are on there. The, the shortcut is control U and it's on snap to pixel, which is pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to select this and just click and drag from the um, center point and hold Alt, so it should make it smaller. And I'm just gonna drag this down. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select these both, go to my window and click on Pathfinder. So you can see here, and I wanna click the first one, which should unite that into two shapes, into one shape. So now I've got this arrow, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag it over here into the circle and I'm gonna bring it up just like that. I'm also gonna round the corner. So I'm gonna select these. I'm gonna go to my stroke panel, which is the three little lines here. You can also go to window and go to stroke to open that up. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my cap and corner and I'm gonna select the round corner and the round point, as you can see there. So now the corners are rounded. I can also go in with my direct selection tool, which is the white little mouse button there. And I can select these corners and you know I can make it round if I want, or I can round off if I just select these anchor points by themselves and just round off certain points if you want, just to give that a bit more of a roundness to it. I'll round that up a bit and maybe the end a bit there. Cool, so that's looking good. So I'm gonna Press Control G to group that. So now we have our icon here. And I'm just gonna duplicate it in case we need to always go back and reuse that. And I'm just gonna scale it a bit. And we wanna make sure that it's centered as much as possible. We don't wanna make it you know, too large. I also might make this circle smaller. So I'm gonna double click into it because it's a group and I can go to isolation mode, which allows me to come in here and edit this. And I might make this arrow smaller so I'll get press A for the direct selection tool select these ends and I'm just gonna bump them down a little bit 
just so I can make this a bit more balanced. Yeah, cool, that looks looking good. So now we can see we've got our simple icon and I'm just using a simple white stroke, which is really good because highlights, you want people to recognize the icon very quickly so they can see what it is. And I might wanna bump up the thickness to about, that's a bit thick, so I'll go maybe 10 points of thickness in the stroke. You can do it in the top left corner or you can also do it in the stroke panel there. Just select it and you bump it up. So yeah, that's looking cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to save this. So I'll go to file and then I'll go export and we'll go save for web. And you can see what you wanna do is you can save it as a JPEG or even a PNG because it's only using like one color and then white. So this will make the file really small. JPEG, you can see it's like 50 kilobytes, but PNG would be less. And you can do PNG 24 as well if you want without transparency. So either is fine. I'm just gonna go with PNG 24 for now. And we'll leave the sizing the same and we'll just go save. So I'm gonna save this to my desktop. It's the highlight icon. Press save. Then once you've done that, what I'm gonna do is go into Dropbox because I saved my files in there. And I'm just gonna quickly download it onto my phone. And I just open up Instagram, click on the plus button next to my highlights. Then what you're gonna do is um, click the button where it says um, edit cover. And then I'm gonna find my photo that I just uploaded to my phone and click that and just make sure that it's uh, scaled up to fit the circle. And then press OK, and then there you have it. We have our new highlight icon, which looks super slick. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and also leave a comment if you found this helpful, and leave suggestions for future videos so I can help you guys out, teach you, and help you grow. So thanks a lot, guys. Hope you have an awesome day. See you next time.